Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I just wanted to film a quick YouTube video on something that I find very informative and interesting. As an equestrian, I am always pleased to help anybody else that is trying to become an equestrian or just trying to learn about our sport and about our animals. So you probably read by the title that today's video is about the things that you need for your very first horse. This is going to be everything that you need tech-wise. So that includes saddles, bridles, halters, etc. So I'm going to start off with the very first thing that I think is one of the most important ones. So I couldn't find my original halter, but this one will also work. It is a very thick halter. So this one will work for horses that are well trained and don't need a lot of pressure on the head or on the pole. So any type of halter, you can even make one yourself. So another thing that you need with your halter is a lead rope. So I don't have a proper lead rope, but I do have this nylon rope that is very, very long. So this is perfect for lunging or just everyday work. I can just fold it up in my hand and have a short lead rope or just untie it and then I have a lunging rope. So this one is kind of important, but you can also use a halter. My horse has a nylon bridle with just the regular snaffle bit with o-rings and cheek protectors. A lot of people don't fit their bridles to their horse because they can just find one and just set it with the settings that you get here, um, which I'm totally fine with. But the best thing in the long run is going to be to get a bridle that is properly fitted to your horse's head and also a bit. Um, you can get a lot of people that can tell you which type of bit is best for your horse's mouth. So the next thing you're going to need with your bridle is reins. So, um, my reins can obviously attach the reins to the bridle here, or to the bit. And then here you can have them loose or you can have them attached like this. This is like the loose option. And then attach to the bit. And then you have two reins. These reins are a bit too short for my liking. Um, so if I were to ride with two reins, I would get myself some longer ones. Because otherwise, if the horse um, immediately jerks his head forward, the rein might slip out of my hand and I won't be able to gain control of it. And the horse might step on the rein and hurt themselves. So I will be keeping these attached. <laughs> the next thing that you're going to need, and this is optional, not everybody likes this and not everybody uses this. I'm going to talk about whips. Um, I got this one for Christmas. It is really good. I like the handle on it. Um, nice grippy. And I think the hand is cute. So a lot of people don't like whips because they think it is abusive, but it's only abusive if you make it abusive. So these are just used as a training aid, not as something to hurt your horse or make them scared of you. The type of saddle pad you get depends on the type of saddle you get. I have two saddle pads and this one is the saddle pad I use for my English saddle. I'm not sure what type of saddle pad it is. Um, it was my dad's saddle pads. So this saddle pad I'm going to use with either a endurance saddle if I buy one or a western saddle if these saddles fit my horse. So I only have two saddles that I can ride in. I have a dressage one and a cowboy one. I'm not sure what type of western saddle this is. Um, that is the last thing that you'll need tack wise for your horse is, is a saddle. Unless you want to ride bareback, you totally can. Here is my dressage um, saddle. I got this with my horse. 